Good evening, killers. So I finally made me a war base with this no defense base. And we we're going to show it to you. This right here is what I was running. Um, have for sales now. Well, I ain't built it, but it's a... Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it at. Anyway, that's what I was running. And this right here is what I decided to use for now. Um... As you can see, I was going to spread my walls out a little bit, <clears throat> but I, I want my city to spawn. I don't want them to be able to run up to my wall and shoot, which I think they can right here. So let's count spaces. One, two, three, four. So actually, yeah, they can see they can right here. So I got couch right there. And... Uh... Put it right here so it covers up. No, we'll put it up against that wall. That way it covers inside the wall too. Okay, so everywhere else, if they get close to my wall, it's going to spawn except for that spot. So, as you can see, I do have some cells, level 7 walls. They have to bust through this wall. They can't go around. Well, they can if they rally, right? They can go around this wall right here. But if not, they'll have to bust through it. Uh, same thing for here. They, I don't know how these walls are going to act. I need to attack this base and see, since I got these walls right here like that, to kind of create just some space where they can't deploy. A little slow, make them come in and travel a little farther. Um, I don't know if, they, if they'll automatically want to go around. So just in case, let's go ahead and move these down here. And we need one more, so we'll do the that, and then we'll keep it like that right there. Keep it. We'll do that so they can't just come in at the farm. Um. So I'm not sure where I'll, I'm gonna keep for sales right here or not. I won't have to redo it. But this right here is spread out. Um. That way it requires them to travel. If they come in at the QV for the for the quick vic, they'll have to take this out now the problem is I do have a lot of 50% up here so they can li literally might be able to come up here get my wonder and get 50% before they can because I do not have a big base um, but anyway this right here is just something to so like an iron age or a medieval won't will have trouble I mean they'll still be able to get me but they won't have trouble my main thing with this base is to keep my war rank low so that's why I don't have any defense. I don't need any defense because I'm not planning on going very far. Uh, like I said, I, I might end up with with the Enlightenment Army, but my goal right now is to get Gunpowder Army and stay there. Um, if I decide to go to Enlightenment, I need to make decisions so I can do it during Rush Week. Gunpowder Rush Week is next, next week. As you can tell, I already have... I need to get my Embassy upgraded, but that's not a big deal right now to me. My gate is going for gunpowder age I already have my army I already started my first troop in gunpowder and I have my library going in gunpowder so I need to get my war academy my merc camp my barracks and I actually the first thing I need to do is buy is do my storage next so I can buy this house three million uh, gold house and get extra sieve so I can do three builds instead of two that's the very next thing I'm gonna do tomorrow yeah, as soon as this gate finishes, I'm going to do the storage, and when uh, my library finishes, I'm going to do this other storage, so I can hold three million, and uh, not unless I can build one. I don't know if I can or not. Oh, yes, I can. So I can start building it, and it it uh it won't take me long to get three million. I'll probably put it like right here. Uh, it don't matter where I put it at, but I'm going to put it somewhere and upgrade that quicker to get the three main quicker so I can get that house going. I almost want to cancel one of these, but they already been going for 24 hours, so I kind of messed up on that. I needed that th that house. So when you go to Gunpowder, get the house first thing. First thing you do is build your gold storage up to three million and buy that house so you can do more things. Unless you bought the starter pack. So anyway, um, let me get a general going. Hopefully I got John ready. 
As you can see, I'm really weak. I'm rushing this. I rushed up to gunpowder. I'm rushing up to probably enlightenment by a blitz week, and then I can sit back and just work in the university, which I don't even have built yet. Like I said, I just got gunpowder the other day, and uh, this is my third account, so I don't really play much. But anyway, to the war. Uh, I do go on expeditions a lot. Uh, that's why it's also slowed me down because I. You know, wars like this right here, I'm trying to help my team out, and I'm medieval, so there ain't a whole lot of bases for me to do. Like this 35, I don't think I can do this 35. Not with my medieval army. Once I get gunpowder, I may be able to, but see, he has level 7 walls, and I just I just don't have the troops strong enough to bust through there. Okay, so, and this is what's weird about war rank. You can tell he, he has gunpowder defenses and stuff. But this number 27 here, I don't know why he's ranked so much higher. Uh, I don't know about it. There's 28, so we'll go to 27. Oh, it's way over here. All right, we're going to scout this 27. I was told I could take it. I might be able to take it. And so we're going to look at it and see this opening hole. Well, he has traps there, so avoid that area. Um, those are level 6 walls, so what I'll probably do is drop a minor... See, if I drop a miner there, he's going to want to run over here because miners like to go to the closest building by a wall. That's the thing. I'll show you what they say. But either that or drop it right here. Come in right here. At, this is probably what I'll do. You see, he only has one mortar. I don't know how he's ranked higher. He has one mortar and one anti-tank gun, which is a ballista tower cannon tower right there something like that and he has a gunpowder tower three gunpowder towers so I guess that's why an enlightenment one enlightenment stable so I don't know why he's ranked higher than 35 unless his what well, little bit he does have is strong um, so I'll probably drop a miner right here just come in right there since that mortar is probably going to come all the way to here behind this library. And I'm going to drop my tank or my cavalry first, like my merc camp right here, and let them take some damage so I can uh, get that miner in there. Just going to come in there, put a throw protect on, hopefully get the city without dying of the cannons. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. I might drop my. Yeah, I'm going to drop my, <clears throat> my Merc camp right here, let them start beating on the wall, then drop my Miner, and then I'm going to rally the city. So the Miner will come in and blow up the, the wall, and they'll come in and take the city. Then I can drop my tank from the Lion's Gate, and then my army. They'll protect on them. Uh, the Kings will come out, pick off my elephants and my little horses, and then I'll be left with the tank. Hopefully I can get in there. Because the elephants won't fight the... Oh, I don't know. So I don't want to rally that city. We'll just... Okay, we'll do an initial plan. I'm not going to rally that city. So we're going to hit this 27. I am bringing a stronghold I got from... Uh, it's medieval army. I mean, I got them to use, right? That's why I went on expeditions. Just using wars to have fun with. So I'm not using any event troops. Any troops from Marco Polo. Or nothing like that. Those are special troops that uh, we use as a team. Like when we say... Basically, when our top has to use stronghold, he don't want to waste them. So if he if he, if they're using stronghold, we need to make sure we five star. Like we do whatever we can, we fill up our stronghold, we use whatever we need to use to build a five star our bases, so our top does not waste theirs because it's expensive being a top player. Um, so if he uses if they use their stronghold, we need to use ours too. But in the meantime, if not, you know. We can use some of these just for fun. Um, so I'm using this horse armor, you know, just to give me a little something else in case I decide to just suicide my Merc camp, which I'm not going to. I'm just going to deploy over there. So uh, I have no coalitions. I just got the embassy gate. Can't wait till I get my 18 gate. I'll probably use like three mortars or two cannons. 
I wish I could get a 21 gate. That's why I want uh, Enlightenment 8 so I can get a 21 gate. Well, I need to upgrade my miner. He is so weak. I didn't see he had anything. Maybe they didn't defend their city because I really did not see anything in his stronghold. And it's loud, ain't it? Sorry. I didn't see anything in his city come out. So I'm going to have to watch this replay and see if I see anything pop out. But this is an easy five star. And we'll just, we won't say nothing to nobody because I still want them to practice sabbing the city and stuff like that, which I, I can't do because I just don't have it. My sab ain't long enough to ruin, so yeah, they're right. This was an easy five star. I was able to take this out pretty good. Um, so my miner, I noticed, is really, really weak. Can't even blow a hole to a level six wall, so we definitely need to get him upgraded just as soon as I get my troops. And in the meantime, don't even use them. So if he can't blow a level six wall, he is no good. Okay, so that was a good war. Let's go and re redo everything, retrain everything. Because if I stop my video, then I have to train it manually. I'll just edit it. So, hit this retrain. Oh, because I, I got that uh, pirate ship, so I get five extra troops. I'm gonna have to do some uh looks like I'm gonna have to do some mining and collecting. I can go ahead and get my tactics. And we'll wait on my general until he's fresh. Get that. Uh let's see here. Go ahead and recruit an elephant and that. And I've already mined, but I got hanging garden, so my mines will get done in an hour. They get done quicker. And the post the war gate. So next next base, I have to pick the next base out. Um, so anyway, let me let me while I got y'all here, y'all watching this, let me explain what I was talking about earlier in chat about twenty nine. In case I don't do it. I go to settings, no. Isolated thunderstorms in my area. Okay. So what I was talking about doing was if you deploy like an infantry or two right here, right here at the corner and get the city and the castle to spawn. Then you come down here, way back here, because see they're great, they're gonna have forces coming out here. Yeah, back here and you just deploy two right two or three or four rifles back here. Right at this edge, just to go bam, 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 bam. Four rifles. They'll creep up, and whatever spawned up here will make their way back here. Well, they're rifles, so they're going to come up here. This will spawn, and they'll sit there and fight this. Now, as soon as they die, the troops will stop moving. So, as soon as the general and whatever's in the city makes the, start making their way away from here, then you can come back here and drop infantry too. Um, what you could also do is drop a couple infantry here and infantry here to get the Coliseum to spawn and they'll pop out because Coliseum will spawn twice and then it maxes out its limit as long as you don't kill no defenders it won't let out a limit no more but you have time he yeah, does have for sale so it'll spawn pretty quick but you do have time if you bring enough infantry you can tear this town center up really quick just drop you like 30 infantry right here using three fingers just Click on infantry and put your three fingers down. It can't be moving. Like, you can't have it scrolling, you know, zooming in and out. It can't be like that. Just drop three fingers down. Don't move them. Real solid. Well, not real solid. Just touch three fingers and it'll deploy them. 
and uh, if you zoom in, it'll make it it'll make it close to all zoom to all to pull together, and then you'll hit that city and it'll be gone, and that's really all you need because we don't expect anything medieval to fight level seven walls. Like I said, you seen my miner; it wouldn't even destroy a level six wall. So, if you can crack this wall, you could probably take them out if you could survive these mortars. Which you fill your merc camp up with uh, cavalry, elephant, and horses, and then use a tank in the lion's gate. You might be able to save yourself from the mortars long enough to be able to take everything else out. So that's why I was talking about 29. I think 34 is about the same way, but it has room on it where there could be traps there see there was no space between the city and the edge of the map so there's no space for traps there so you know there's no traps in front of the city you just gotta get whatever's in the city away so it don't kill you like cannons so this 34 is uh, set up the same way but it's backwards and he has anchor watt in front of his city so you will have to rally his city um so basically you just you just drop a bunch of infantry like all through here just all the way around here or a couple right here of Rally City and uh, the Coliseum and the General will come out and kill them and whatever's in the city will come out and kill them then you get your rifle and I would since this right here they're uh, Roman this command post is going to drop out deploy six Romans right and they're going to walk around here to this gate and then come up here so if you go back here and you deploy like six or seven about seven uh, range units then they'll last a little bit longer. They'll kill, they'll kill this, and then it's they'll kill this between in between there. They'll shoot the the library, right? So they'll stay out there a long time until these troops make our way all the way down in there and overrun them. But by that time, most of them will be over here. So then you can come over here and deploy you about I don't know twenty or thirty infantry. Just drop them and then rally city. And by the time they these troops get all the way back here. This right here should be killed. Now you do gotta watch this mortar because this mortar range will hit out here uh, by this anchor watt. So throw a protect on them, or you sab the mortar for a few seconds, however long you sab last. You know whatever you gotta do to get this big. That's what I would do. I would just sab that one mortar, and you gotta watch out for this readout. So maybe come in from over here because the castle will pick them off one at a time but that mortar will kill a bunch of them so you definitely got to get and so will that readout so you definitely got to get get that mortar and watch out for that readout so i'd come in right here and then rally city and they'll stand right here might be cow chopping uh, ambush traps stuff like that but you bring enough 30 or 40 i think you can hold a 65 in medieval so we're talking four or five right here to get them six back here that's about 11 so you have 30 troops you, you put 30 infantry right here it's going to take that city even though it's gunpowder with high road network notice that because eat all these roads add hp to that they should still take out that city in time and if not you tried and you learned the technique and to use during raiding and to get war loot um, and you just have to wait till you get stronger to do it you just keep doing your library, the bottom half of your library. Keep building your army. Um, like I said, defense ain't necessary, especially until you get the late stages of enlightenment uh, to guard oil. You don't need to do, uh, hold your storage because you can get everything just sitting here. Like I, I don't, I don't defend anything. You see, I don't have problems upgrading because I just sit here and I play. I log in like I'm fixing. I'll attack a raid. I'll go do something else. Come back thirty minutes later, attack again. And I'm able to get three, two million resources easily in just a, you know, just about a half a day, just doing nothing. And I can start something to build takes a day or two, and I come in and do my war attack stuff like that. So you don't, and with training blessing in, in enlightenment age, you don't need to. You can do a lot more attacks, so you can get everything you need in one hour instead of sitting there taking you a half a day just jumping on and off, on and off, on and off. Okay, well that was all my spill for tonight. Um, I will come back on later and do my second attack. You can see I'm already trained up except for I think my infantry need training. Yeah. We'll go four infantry and a uh, let's get rid of this. So I have five. Four. We'll go and do all infantry. They're, they're strong and tough and I will be getting my Merc Camp 
filled back up and I'll have to attack for some diamonds here in a little bit but I'll be able to get that no problem um, I think I have oil sh or shipments if I don't feel like raiding I can always well no I'm out of shipments so yeah these are my attacks see 109.69 so see let's see 8 hours 7 hours let's go the last 24 hours see that right there 300 food I got uh, 165 gold, 126 food, 74. See, so it's no problem to get 2 million pretty quick, just playing around, not being real serious about it. And if you time it out, like it to, it takes about 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes to, to train this army I got right here. And if you time it out and just jump in every time they're trained, you still fill your storages up. So you do not need defense really at this age. You, just, you don't need it. And it raises your war ranks. So build your armies up. And killing war, and then you can worry about defense a little bit later in a build in researching university and get your troops strong. We'll talk about university another day. Uh, I'm gonna finish my gunpowder army, decide what I'm gonna do about enlightenment age, and then I'll be discussing university and showing you the power of it in other videos. All right, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Um, donate kill level.